Hi, this is Matthew Hartzell with Millennium Torque Intentioning, and today I will be demonstrating how to use our pneumatic and battery operated gate valve kit. So you may be asking yourself, why would I want to purchase this pneumatic and battery operated gate valve kit? We have found that it has significantly reduced workers' compensation claims for companies across the board. Before operating this tool, you're going to want to make sure you're wearing the proper PPE, such as gloves, safety glasses, Earplugs are not required because of the low decibel levels our tool produces. Now we're going to transition over to the use of the tool. The first thing you're going to do is set up your hand wheel. The hand wheel comes with five pegs and you match the five pegs up with the number on top. So if you're going to use five, you match them up with the number five. For this, we have a four inch gate valve, so you use three. The number of pegs you're going to use is depends on the size of the hub on your gate valve. So I'm going to go ahead and start inserting the peg into the wheel. It turns very easily. And then you're just going to want to finish it up with the provided Allen key. Once your peg is firmly tightened on your hand wheel, you can go ahead and place it on your gate valve hub. Once it's secure on your gate valve hub, you're going to want to make sure that your pegs are within the parameters of your gate valve hub spokes. Moving on, you're going to take the long reaction arm, pull the provided pin, and put it on the extension on your tool. If you need a longer option, this also extends. I'm going to put it back down to the normal size. The next thing you're going to do is take your tool and place it on your hand. You have a digital counter here that will tell you how many revolutions it takes to open and close your gate valve. Now we can begin operating the gate valve tool. Once again, no hearing protection is required due to the low decibels emitted by our tool. I have the tool set to gear one setting 15, which is going to provide your highest torque value and your lowest speed. This is going to be good for your tough gate valves that you have a hard time opening and closing. Now we'll begin the operation. So as you can see, it's moving very slow. This is providing a lot higher torque than you would get on our higher settings. We're at about three turns closed already. As you can see, I'm able to maneuver this tool freely, so when it finally catches once it's closed, you won't be taken for a ride like you would on another tool. Now I'm going to set this to gear 4, setting 15, which is going to provide our lowest torque value and our highest speed. As you can see, the tool is moving much faster, providing the least amount of torque, and you're about to close right there. We have this valve tool in a battery option with two batteries, this long extension arm, and a digital counter. We also offer it in our notorious pneumatic tool. It fits in the exact same. It also comes with a digital counter and a long reaction arm. The pneumatic option is great if you have readily accessible compressed air. You can purchase either of these tool options from any of your Millennium sales reps. As always, thank you for watching and please stay tuned for more Millennium content.